So who is a good candidate for liposuction? Well, it's known that women actually are better candidates than men. And that probably has to do with their feminine hormones of estrogen and progesterone. Also, it's known that skin quality is really important. So if you are a person who have had no stretch marks, that skin quality is better than somebody who has been pregnant, who has had weight gain and loss and has a lot of stretch marks. When the skin has stretch marks, that skin has internally been damaged and that skin has lost its elasticity and therefore it will not shrink as well as a skin that has not been damaged. This is really important because every day I see patients who come to my practice having had liposuction done elsewhere and they are not a really good candidate for liposuction and now they have developed skin laxity and wish to have skin excisional surgeries. Sometimes I've had patients who have requested a body lift after liposuction because their whole lower body has become loose as a result of liposuction. So liposuction really should only be used on those people who have a good quality of skin that actually can shrink after the procedure and give you optimal results. Having said that, when we do excisional procedures, sometimes we combine it with liposuction. And that has to do with the fact that we are removing the fatty layer. We are using liposuction to sculpt and contour the patient. And immediately during the same surgery, we are removing all the skin laxity. I oftentimes use liposuction with my tummy tucks. I do a good amount of liposuction with my body lifts when I'm removing a good amount of skin from the patient. And during those times, the liposuction is being used to harvest fat, to shape the patient, to enhance curves, and to sculpt them. <music>